Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. We're going to do a video today where I'm going to prove to you that it is a myth when people say you can't find things made in USA in stores. And we're going to pick Walmart as the first one. And I'll, I'm going to do some other videos with Dollar Tree, Dollar General, other, you know, uh, budget stores and prove that you can find made in USA in all these stores and you can continue to support the made in USA products. I became obsessed with this a number of years ago where I began checking every single label to try to buy as much possible as I can of made in USA items. I'm an American citizen. It makes sense to me as somebody who's been in the manufacturing trades for a long time. I want to support other guys like me who are raising a family and starting businesses and stuff like that. So I try to support it. Um, obviously, I'm also a big fan of German made stuff. Uh, you know, I got a lot of German made stuff because of the quality is so good, especially in the machine shop world that you kind of have to have it. Uh, but of course, I also love Stare, which is a USA product. But anyways, long story short, let's take a look at uh, breaking down this myth, though, for just a minute here. And then we're going to go straight into Walmart and you can check this for yourself. So there's a couple different categories of made in the USA. And there's a lot of myths around this. So we're going to break it down right now. The first is if the labels, these are all set by the Federal Trade Commission, by the way. But if the label says made in USA, that means that it was made in USA and that the products used to make it were sourced in the USA or virtually all of the parts were, ver were sourced in the USA. Then you have made in USA with global components. This means that the product was produced in a factory here in the United States but they may have sourced some of the materials from another country. Why would they do that? Well, I'll give you a good example. Lithium ion batteries. Anything that has a lithium ion battery probably is going to say made in the USA, source of global components. Because there's not a lot of lithium mines in the United States because of environmental regulations and other factors. So they'll take the lithium from another country, bring it here to the United States, and then produce the product. That's made in USA with global components. I don't think it's as good as Made in USA because I'd like all of my support to go to Made in USA, but it's better than Made in China. Then you have Assembled in the USA. And what this means is that, just like it sounds, parts were made in other countries, shipped to the United States, and then a factory worker here in America assembled it before it was packaged and sent to the retail store. So that's the classifications of Made in the USA, and all of these are available at Walmart, as we're going to see here in just a moment. All right, folks, here we go. We're hitting Walmart, and I'm going to start right out here in the parking lot with the garden section. Let's see if we find anything Made in USA. First thing I come up on, wood pellets up here in Maine. Not only is it Made in USA, it's made in Maine. So I can support my local economy, even with Walmart. Hard to believe it, but it's true. All right, here we go. Coming to the, the garden potting mix, okay? It's upside down, right here, made in USA. Check out this one. All right, we got another Better Homes and Gardens potting mix. And it says right here, made in USA. Pro mix, I don't know, some of these I'm just walking up. I'm gonna see if we can find it. Because I don't know, I haven't checked all these, okay? So let's see. This one, I don't see it on here. We're gonna move on. Let's come up over here. Oh, let's check out, let's see if we can check anything on on these. I'm gonna predict that most of these are not made in USA, but let's take a look. Oh, look at this, I was wrong. Made in USA, smart cart. This one, made in China, wheelbarrow. This one made in China, wheelbarrow. So we got one garden cart made in the USA. We got a couple here that are made in China, but you can find a USA made one. All right, let's check it out. Here's a garden toy for kids, a little sandbox, a little tykes. Let's see, you ready? Oh, made in USA. Wow, look at this, even the label was printed in the USA. So, okay, that's enough of the garden area. We proved we can find Made in USA products right here at Walmart even, in the garden area. Now let's go inside the store. All right, I'm in the business aisle. So let's take a look. How about tape? Look at this one. 397 for duct tape. 
Let's check the label if we see anywhere. Okay, this one's made in Taiwan. Right next to it, Scotch brand. Made in the USA with globally sourced materials. Remember we talked about that. Uh, again, duct tape. Almost guaranteed this one is also gonna be made somewhere else. Yep, made in Taiwan. Scotch tape, there's a USA option right here. Look at bubble wrap. Made in USA with global materials. Uh, so it looks like duck brand is mostly China or Taiwan. Um, Scotch is doing things in USA as of the date of this video. Cardboard boxes. Okay, let's take a look. Made in the USA, factory certified. And you can go to the FTC website and find out exactly what that means. Let's take a look at this. Paper, made in USA. Uh, how about the HP? Let's see if we can find it. Not sure. But we know this quickly can find the USA options. Here's another one. Made in USA. So it's in here. All right, Tupperware. Rubbermaid product. Made in the USA. You can find USA stuff almost everywhere in the store. You might not always find a USA option, but there are tons of USA things in here if you start looking and you want to support USA. A lot of the appliances are not going to be made in USA. I just know from uh, personal experience. There's going to be three areas of the store that you have a hard time finding USA. Anything like the appliances, it's harder to find USA. The clothing is very hard to find USA. Other than that, you can find a USA option almost everywhere. Let's keep moving on. Paper shredders. Probably made in China. We're going to take a look. And you're going to find that if it's made in USA, they're usually proud to put it right on there. Nope, this one's made in Vietnam. But the oil, shredder oil, made in USA. Okay, I'm in the bakeware aisle. Almost everything in here is made in USA. Let's check this. Just picking up something randomly. I don't see anything. Oh, made in China. But let's go look down, okay? Look, look at the price difference. This is what I was gonna mention. You get a made in China ones that are $5.97, come down here, $3.97, cheaper, made in the USA. It is a myth that made in USA is always more expensive. Let's look at the pizza. Pizza tray, made in USA, $4.96. Pizza tray, made in China, $7.97. You're gonna find this over and over again. Made in USA is oftentimes cheaper. Made in USA right here. Some of the uh, pie pans and stuff. Let's check this one. Made in USA pie pan, 98 cents. See, this stuff is everywhere. Let's keep moving. Cushions, made in the USA. Chair cushions, right here. Pyrex, made in the USA. All kinds of examples. All right, I'm in the canning section. And I know from experience, these ball jars, made in USA. Made in USA. Check out these lids. They're made in USA. You can find this stuff throughout the store. As I keep saying, probably tired of me saying it by now. But let's just, let's just go down here. Okay, trash cans. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, this is a Chinese one. In this instance, the USA one is a little bit more expensive, but not a whole lot, guys. Support USA. Let's bring back manufacturing to the USA. You do that by spending your dollars in the USA, not by counting on some politician. Oh, I just turned around randomly. Let's take a look. USA. Tons of USA stuff in here. We are in the mattress and pillow aisle. Let's take a look. Basically everything in here for pillows.
light coming in here. Cleaning aisle. This is the Walmart brand too. Still assembled in the USA, better than nothing. Kitchen bags. Assembled in USA, so somebody's packaging it here. Let's check a label. Made in USA from global components. So these would be better pick than those because those are only assembled in USA. This is made in USA with global components. All right, let's check this out. Mops. You get two mops here that are made in the USA. USA cotton mop, $4.98. USA rayon mop, $7.98. This one's a Chinese mop. Chinese mop, $9.99. It's cheaper to get the USA mop. Got some fans here. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. Oh, uh, let's see. Made in USA. Tons of fans. These are China. Almost guaranteed. Yep, made in China. So, the small, cheaper fan, cheaply made fan, 15 bucks. The big American made fan, 19 bucks. Okay, home storage. These ones are made in China. Oh, these ones are made in USA. So you do have American options even on the storage. Sterilite, made in the USA again. Probably not much else in the tool aisle made in USA, if I had to guess. Just from experience, it's harder to find it. Maybe these, possible. Just check. Nope, China. But if you look, even in the tool aisle, I bet we could find something made in USA. Well, we did find the storage. That was all made in USA. Okay. Made or assembled in USA. The hyper tough saw. Oh. Rafter square, made in the USA. Combination square, made in the USA. Handsaw, assembled in the USA. So even in the tool aisle, we're finding, if you look and you take your time, screwdriver set, assembled in USA. You can even find made in USA tools at these stores. And we're gonna find the same, it's not just Walmart. We're gonna find this at Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Tractor Supply, all these different stores. There are made in USA products, which you've gotta check. You gotta get in the habit of looking for them. Okay, automotive section. Just gonna grab a random one. Manufactured in USA with foreign and domestic components. How about grease? Same thing. All these Fram air filters, USA. Okay, all of your windshield wash. USA, USA. Check this one. Yep. So, tons of USA made here in the automotive section. Uh, let's see. Carburetor cleaner, made in USA. That's the cheap stuff. Even the cheap Supertech stuff's made in the USA. Look at that. Tons and tons and tons of made in USA. Even in here. Let's see. Let's just check some of these. Probably China. If I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say China. No, India. 
take a look. Purple power, let's take a look. No, not easy to find. Probably China, but I don't know. All right, I'm in toys. So here's a good example of what you gotta check. You got Monopoly Star Wars. Made in China Monopoly Star Wars. But the Jeff Foxworthy Monopoly. Made in USA. So same exact game, brand, Monopoly. Parker Brothers, or Hasbro, I'm sorry. One was made in China, one was made in USA. So you have to check everything, everything. Can't just think it's, let's check this Monopoly. See, another China. Who knows, maybe Fox really made him do it in USA. I don't know. As part of the licensing agreement. Uh, nope, China. So you got one USA, three China. Playing cards, bicycle, made in USA. There's an option. It is more expensive than the Chinese. The China one is cheap, but the quality is better on bicycle cards. I refuse to use the cheap Chinese playing cards because their quality is so bad. So we got some, some games here made in USA, some playing cards made in USA. What about puzzles? I've never checked puzzles. China. China. So I don't know. I've never, I haven't spent the time looking. If I really wanted to get a puzzle. Oh, wait, wait. Here's a puzzle. Made in USA. So they do have some made in USA puzzles even. There's different options. Okay, tied. It's imported. So the tide is imported. Expensive stuff is imported. How about the cheap stuff? A dollar. Ajax. Made in USA. There's an option. Dog food. Check if you don't. Tons of options for the dog food. This one, the bag is even printed in the USA. So, got options in here. Let's just check another one. I never checked Purina. It says prepared in a USA facility. Doesn't really have a good label. It's probably made in China. Maybe they. Or somewhere else, they might have put it, they might have bagged it in the USA. Oh, this is made in USA. Okay, we got cat litter. I'm not seeing any obvious one. This is probably not. Arm and Hammer one. Oh, Arm and Hammer made in USA. Soap aisle. Ivory is imported. Imported. Zest. USA. All right, let's check out pens and pencils. Hmm, oh, okay. USA Titanium. Made in Tennessee. And you get Chinese ones here. So in this case, the USA one is more expensive. Significantly. Okay, this is an India one. Sorry, didn't mean to insult that India. It wasn't made in China. Pens. Bic made in China. Paper Mate, South Korea.
bet you the old fashioned ones are made in USA. Probably the ones in the bags, the cheap Bic pens. A lot of times you find the cheaper stuff is made in USA. Nope, Mexico on that one. Let's see. Thought I was gonna strike out on pens, but I found Sharpie ones that are assembled in USA at least. Better than nothing. They are expensive though. So pens is a tough one. All right, I'm leaving the store. I hope this gave you a good look at the fact that you can find made in USA products at Walmart. Of course, we could have taken more time, but we went through a lot of the areas of the store. Uh, like I said, try to support made in USA or other free countries as much as possible especially your local economy and all that. I'm big into that, just believe in it. And people might try to criticize me and say, oh, well, yeah, look, he drives a Volkswagen. Well, my Volkswagen minivan is almost entirely Chrysler parts. Volkswagen has a plant in Tennessee. Toyota has a plant in Texas and other places. So it's not about the brand name at all, always. You'll be surprised at what you find with an American quote unquote American company, it's produced overseas. And then these foreign companies like Volkswagen and Toyota, they're making everything in the USA now for the USA market. So um, do your homework, check your labels.